Today we have on Sandarya. She did her undergrad from India from NIT Trichy, did her masters at Columbia, did a 3 year stint at Salesforce as a product manager. I would say she's a writer at heart. Admitted is one of her first books and she co-authored Unshackled. I think the best when I'm writing on paper. If I feel like I'm not able to figure out a certain problem, the first thing I do is open my journal and start writing whatever comes to mind. I was trying to look back at 2023 and be like, "Hey, what all did I do?" Right? And I can only remember the key moments or stuff that really stood out or memories that really right. stuck. I've tried voice journaling over the years in different forms. I have been using Audio Pen, just another voice to text journaling app. It's worked incredibly well because it summarizes my very unclear thoughts when I'm speaking into the phone into this beautifully clear text. There is a joke amongst a lot of writers that most books can be a blog post because it really the lesson in there is not that profound for it to be a book. When I got a message from my lawyer on WhatsApp saying, "I'm so sorry, Soundarya," but they denied it. Back then if you asked me, "Do you want the O1 visa or do you want a million dollars?" I would have chosen the O1 visa. I was that obsessed with the idea of getting the O1 because it meant freedom for me. A sort of validation that I can do what I want in this country when I want, where I want, however I want. Sometimes you keep your sights on a certain goal for so long that you forget the initial reason you wanted the goal. America was was not this magical destination where I wanted to settle down anymore. Now I think of America as some a product. They've marketed the country so well and so many people want to come there.